the future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as your dialogue with Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come in catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows. Then get rid of him. They're all hard money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack. But that's far away in the past now. And I have a speech to prepare for. Seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time and I've escaped it all the way to 1999 when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat. 
protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Mark. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. We need your treatment. You want to go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? Anyone who might implicate Monarch. Fuck you. Hmm. Wait! We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what I looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. <laughs> Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Thanks for showing up. Here, I thought this was going to be a rescue. You know, there's a story here. You know a guy called Hatch? Serene's right-hand man. He was here. He gave him this big speech about how he wants to take down Paul. I hope you said no. I didn't trust him for a second. He set me loose anyways, told me to wait for an opening. I just gave you one. Appreciate it. What's it look like out there? They think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emeril? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case. My cover isn't going to survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. Hey! He's escaping! will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, I'm gonna have to move faster to get through. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead soon. Warn me about that one, Beth.
Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Up you go. It's all supposed to be quietly swept under the carpet, but now we've got. <laughs> Monarch built over World War II fortifications. Maybe wonder why they chose that island. The existing tunnel system led back to the mainland, perfect for construction of a highly secretive R and D facility. Time felt broken here. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. It's locked. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I have a thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. One hit is why we're grabbing Dr. Amaral. You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Emerald would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. See if I grab it for you. I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Blow your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain layer? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Welcome. Tonight marks a momentous occasion. For years, we have been building towards this day. Years of planning, Speech is streaming. Training. Let's give Monarch the audience Personally, this earth. marks the end of a 17-year journey and the day we emerge from the shadow. Beth, I'm about to take the elevator. See Paul still fond of his own voice? Yeah, he's talking about his survival plan. Crowd's eating it up. Just lit up. They know 
Dirt Emerald's office. Looks like that's one level up. Sure, this sure, can't, can't be traced back to us. Impossible. Impossible. I've adjusted, I've adjusted the flight, flight control, control, so the drone will, will crash into the villa on your order. Good. 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 I'll make, make sure that sure Sophia's is in position to time this right. What the hell is this? device drain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. <laughs> Serene ordered Hatch to kill me because he didn't want to put his plan at risk. Seeing the scale of that facility, I started realizing just how deep that plane went. It made me wonder. Time was ending. What was it all for? The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Around the same time that something else happened. Ground Zero. might be able to get out from here. I guess 
guessing this isn't the usual employee route. Emma's office. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh shit. Emma's at the bar. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. The Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Sounds like the way out of this place. All I had to do was make it through the garage. It seems simple enough.
anything easier. There's gotta be a way out of here. Adventures in Flesh by L. Damn. Hell? Is I must have locked the hand down. An audiobook over the radio? Maybe I can return Whoever that is, shut it off. Now. <laughs> I think I'll just leave that right there. Somebody find out where that's coming from. This is supposed to be a secure channel. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm talking about. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Want to be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, weenie. I'll make my way there. Serene's finished his speech, and he knows you're loose. He's headed your way. Remember what we said? Company. Let's get the party. I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Want to be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, weenie. I'll make my way there. Serene's finished his speech, and he knows your voice. Beth, I've got company. the last of them. And you're back for some quality time. I need the exact coordinates for Joyce ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. This is Guard 5. Outside the party grounds. Huh. Again. I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. I could see the energy field of another monarch chronon. It drained my powers. I'd have to find a way to shut it off. My powers won't work within that sphere. I better be careful. Security's tight. Maybe you want to shut that machine off.
Yeah. Now we're talking. You were headed for the party. What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming. should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. This won't this take long. Make sure Make sure go smoothly at the same time. Mr. Serene's speech had been a success. The world was falling apart, but the wine and cheese crowd was enjoying their little goddamn soiree. shooting up half a Paul's little amusement park. Yeah, well, Monarch does. I don't think my cover's gonna last. Yeah, well, I don't think it would do much good for the next part anyway. Okay, Dr. Amaral somewhere inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Better block so we can help her find some places. Okay, lead the way. our plan once we grab her. There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work.
before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to the dark. The damn boat. It's right there. Okay, go. Get her on the boat. I'll keep her. Come on, go. Let's go. Hurry up. Never get away with this. What about you? You're clear. Go. I can swing by go. and... No. Just go. We went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. Take my own way. My plan was simple. There's a bridge to the mainland. Fight my way through anything Monarch would throw at me and then steal a car. Drive it back to the swimming pool. Remember, we need your ass alive. We'll see how it shakes out.
with Beth and Dr. Ammer all clear, it's time for me to get gone. For that. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Moloch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want to apprehend him. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. All right, Amaral, let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She took them away, you know? If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Sophia's data has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself.
I see. Sir? Put people in Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on them. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started... against me from the inside and she wasn't the only one the treatments they're losing their effectiveness <sighs> Sophia you shouldn't worry so much back up slowly <laughs> something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. Holes are very dangerous, Beth. And things will only get worse if you continue to touch it. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A current undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Gotta get to higher ground. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of Monarch. I don't know. Maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you... me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check.
still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. out there. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's going to be some people caught in crossfire. All right. Any bright ideas? Our fire. There's no way in hell you're going to get away with this. Calm down. You need to take a look at your truck. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with a the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. Right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Hi, right, Bobby's back, and we're getting reports of more and more of these hey, Monarch how are we getting down there? The Where's the fire pole? Bastards. Change of plans, the pier's too hot. Gotta find another way across. I'm almost there. Just wait two minutes. I'm not putting Dr. Amaral at risk. I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. I need to get him to the bridge. Across it. You've got civvies trying to push through the line. You know your orders. Hardline. Any means necessary.
This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. Just had to find a way down. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. Just had to find a way down. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. Just had to find a way down. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. Just had to find a way down. The frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best.
kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. Fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. I don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. You got it. Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Hatch, this is the guy that visited me in a cell. Hmm, sounds like Serene's on to him. According to Monarch Communications, Hatch sabotaged a Monarch lab. He may be undermining Paul, but I get the impression he's not on our side. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. Amaral gets the machine working. We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. 
Let's just get the machine working. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. How does it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? The power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, and the machine was activated. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red light before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. Okay, the first red light is now green. Good. One more to go. Jack, come check this out. Don't leave me hanging, Jack. I got the goods. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. everything. What's wrong? Tara. That's my signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman... It was you. 
Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And it can't be changed or undone. Hey, Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. Jesus. Climbable. Way up there. That's exactly the kind of question that never would have entered Will's mind while building this. doing this. I'll set the date into the console. <clears throat> July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? No. Okay. Go. This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait. What did you? 
you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Follow through with the plan, tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. Yeah, I've got this. Don't worry. Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. Turning back. Jack? Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. Set Williams' machine to 1999, the first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Ah. It's okay. I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wyatt. Just in case you. You're the reason we built the countermeasure, and you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. 
we don't have much time. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. Eleven years. I'll unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then, that's where we go. Uh, yes. That was the plan. Just have to unlock this. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. It means we finish this. You need gear? Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river. Along with everything else I brought here. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. Okay. Countermeasures at Will's workshop. We find it, then what? We bring it back here. You... I can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but... I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I tried. Over. And over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Then we'll die finding out. I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through, 
what she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul. Followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. Beth I'd known had laser focus. Miss Beth. She had doubts. You okay? But the countermeasure, the one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. There it is. In 2010, Monarch didn't own the area yet. That came shortly after because of what happened with you. But we knew William was building something new in his workshop, and we knew it must be important. We were monitoring the place. Yeah, Beth knew about your presence. She'd done spying on her own. We came over the rooftops to avoid detection. Does Will know we're coming? No, he doesn't. From this point on, we may be in their sights. We need to be quick. Hey, Will? He's not here. I made sure of that. What? Why? He's the only one that knows how to use the countermeasure. Which is why you need to keep him safe. Fine. We get the device, then you leave me my room. Now, see here. where do we find this thing? All right, well, where'd you hide that safe? The power setup wasn't working, but it must have worked at some point. Maybe I can rewind time to get this working. He didn't leave the code, but I can crack it. I just need some time to... Somebody's here. It's Monarch. I knew it. I knew they'd find us. I'll take care of it. Just get that safe open, stay inside. Yeah. Okay. You'd been spotted the moment you arrived. You never had a chance. You were on a suicide mission. Yeah. I wasn't gonna lie down and just give up without There's a fight. Some you need to know. Not then, not ever. This is Trojan One, approaching workshop perimeter. Over. Remember, orders are to take her alive. Monarch Actual's en route. Roger. Stop right there. Where's the girl? Hey, 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 hold on. Take it easy. That seems to be the problem, Dad. He's got a gun! Open fire!
fall. Hand it over. I said, get out of my way. I gotta get back in. Come with me. We can survive this together. You know it can't be stopped. I can see it in your eyes. You know this. What if you're wrong? failed. We created Ground Zero. Caused everything to happen how it always did. Every piece falling into place. Except one. The blast sent you through time. Brought you back to 2016. The same exact time from which you left. Something anchored you there. We need to know how you did this. You think I wanted to come back? I was pulled away. Everything I came for was still back there. Left behind. Move. Beth, get up. Beth, come on, get up. Please, Beth. Beth, you need to move, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Get the gun. Come on, come on, come on, Beth, move. Come on, please, please. Beth, move! Zareen had the countermeasure the whole time. I had to get it back. A rash decision. You claim Beth Wilder's death had no impact on your behavior, but... Like I said, I barely knew her. So, what you did next? It wasn't personal? I don't have much time left, I know. I spent 17 years working it out, planning it, 
building Monarch. Because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? <sighs> I'm slipping away into pain and rage. The sickness is accelerating. CFR. It has cost me so much. But I have harnessed its power. And with it, my plan will work. With it, I will keep the lights on when the world goes dark. Mr. Serene, sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have that cleanup report on Dr. Kim's lab you wanted. Meet me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I've sealed the CFR chamber. Explosion. My treatments all gone. First things first. Seal the chamber. The CFR has been secured. Uh, Mr. Serene, I'm in your office. I'll be right there. Serene out. The soldiers know how close to the end I am. death. I'm afraid of becoming the enemy. What that would mean for me, for the plan. Ah. I don't know who to trust anymore. Martin Hatch. He used me all these years. How deep does this betrayal run? How many more are there? They, they wanted the lifeboat to fail. Why? Sir? Be right with you, son. I spent years living in the past, living in the safety of knowing what happens next. Years of planning, building it's all come to this report sir you ordered us to search the demolished lab your treatments were destroyed there was one left the casing appears to be broken but uh that's all we could find. One of my treatments. But it's damaged. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. Treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? I'm not a traitor. We're the same now. And I need your help. I can focus on the mission. The lifeboat. See it through to the end. I still have allies I can trust. Look, you have to realize you're not gonna keep me from getting a CFR. Life is too chance to walk away, Joyce! William Burke, he would fight to defend us, to slow Jack down. The plan could still work. You have all betrayed me. Assured my downfall. And now, I will assure yours. And my world will be renewed. My world will see Paris. Chaos. It's falling apart. They're working against me, they're fighting in. 
each other. You'll need to get to Shireen's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. All right? Joyce faces the fracture. He faces the world. He'll go home happy. Charlie Wincott. Another weakling. The traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer. All of them. Sir? Thank you. I'll be right down. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Clear-headed, <sighs> calmer, but it won't last. I need to work fast while I still can. <sighs> Bradbury swimming pool. Pulse wounds become unhinged. What about my treatments? This triggered a catastrophe. The Joyce Phil could collapse within eight hours. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things in. And this is where we come in. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. I've come to free you, my friend. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infamy. What was troubling me? Is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit minutes before the explosion. Sophia's loyal. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. Dr. Holden, the protocol's been initiated. Liam? some information about Warren Hatch. I want him apprehended immediately. 